Hi, I'm Michael Greco. I'm a professional photographer in Los Angeles, California. I've been shooting pictures of professionals, movie stars, and models for over 20 years. During that time, I've had to learn and invent ways to store, retrieve, and archive my work using different hard drives, flash drives, memory cards, and solid state drives. This is one of the short videos I made for HowToArchive.com that helps show you some of the ways you can increase your workflow and make your storage solutions work for you. Today we're discussing why it's much better to store your work on local hard drives instead of using remote hard drives, also referred to as cloud-based storage. We all have large amounts of pictures, documents, music, and other media that need to be stored on hard drives. Where those hard drives are located can make a big difference to the accessibility and safety of your files. Local storage solutions are cheaper, they're faster, they're exchangeable, they're more reliable, and they provide better security. Remote storage solutions, or the cloud, are more costly because there's monthly service charges. They're less reliable because you're depending on the network to access your information. They have slower transfer speeds because you're depending on your internet connection and provide less control over security. It's pretty clear that for large files and large amounts of data, local storage is the way to go. And there are two types of hard drives you can buy that will enable you to store files locally. Internal drives. These are the bare hard drives with no case, just like the hard drive that's in your tower, in your computer. And to access the information, you buy one reader and you're able to put that drive in the reader and read it any time. No extra cables, no extra cases. These drives provide the biggest bang for the buck when it comes to storage and speed because you can get the fastest reader available and you're buying the cheapest media there is. You're just paying for the internal hard drive. External drives. These are the drives in cases with fans, cables, and connection cords. They come in all shapes and sizes. And as you can see, there's a lot of extra parts. They're normally more expensive than internal drives because of all the extra hardware. Here are some simple suggestions that will help you set up a backup system with local internal hard drives the way I do. Mirror your hard drives by duplication and redundancy. Use a standard two dock reader if you're using internal hard drives and duplicate one drive to the other always have an exact copy. And you should always label your drives for archiving and storing. This makes it easier to identify later when you need to find your files. If you're really concerned about protecting your information, you should move the second set of drives or duplicates off-site. I keep mine in a storage facility for my artwork. After six months of non-use, most drives need to be turned on so the magnetic hard drive platters inside them spin for a few minutes. This will help that the drive will not freeze up and you can access the data when you need it. Also, I usually switch the main set of drives with the one in storage when I do this every six months. If I've made changes, I remember to synchronize the two drives first. I make sure that they're matched and then I take the set from the file cabinet and put them in storage. Also, Make sure you have a good place to store your hard drives when they're not being used. I use the Pro Storage System to protect my drives. This is it. It's anti-static closed cellular foam that's made for hard drives. They fit file cabinets and banker's boxes, and I can either put them in a large file cabinet or a small file cabinet, a large banker's box, or a small banker's box. They have lids if you want to seal up the banker's box and put the whole banker's box into storage with your duplicates. The Pro Storage containers help protect your drives from shock and static. The main reason I don't recommend using cloud-based or remote storage is based around the fact that you cannot control the transfer speeds. You're dependent on your internet connection. You also don't own the system and you don't get access to the physical drives. They're based somewhere else. Once you get the hang of using these simple methods, backing up your files and storing them will become easier and your files will always be there for you when you want them. I hope this video has helped you better understand some of the difference between local hard drive solutions and cloud-based hard drive solutions. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch and look for more of my videos on howtoarchive.com.